and see the holy hole's been blocked off from you? You're like an aborted baby fetus. You need to get to the Holy Grail before you're dead. You've been locked up here in the land of the dead. This is the game Agony. You see the feminine. They, like the sun. The menstrual blood dripping into the Holy Grail. You see the black sun. That's like in the Egyptians had the candy cane. One side of a light hole is a black hole. You see the black and the gold. So here what I'm seeing is you're birthed into this world through your mother. You'll be birthed out of this world through your mother into the land of perpetual twilight. You see the sigil to memorize? Memorize sigil, the arrow pointing down, the feminine. Okay, I dripped my blood into the earth, asking the great spirit for guidance. And she showed me the holy hole and how to take over the universe and get everybody eternal life. So you bow your head and prayer to the black sun. You close your eyes, make a wish. You throw your coin into the wishing well. This is who you're wishing to, the divine feminine, the earth goddess, the memory, what you call Lucifer. And you see, you birthed into this world through your mother, you're going to be birthed out of this world through your mother. The goddess of the earth, you're going to go through her womb. And you're going to come out into the land of perpetual twilight. And it says over here, And I saw the woman overcome as with the wine of the blood of the saints, and the blood of those put to death because of Jesus. And when I saw her, I was overcome with a great wonder. As I was overcome with a great wonder, as I've been explaining to you, that the great earth spirit is a goddess of the earth, that she's got no dick, and she's a beautiful, nurturing, motherly woman, and she wants you to bathe in her eternal waters at the center of the dish and pass into the land of perpetual twilight. And what I'm telling you is everybody's lost that sea, legally dead, officially. And they don't want to know the truth. They prefer the idea that they're on a ball floating through space as an accident and stemming from monkeys, which is not the case. And make, that makes them filthy, retarded people. So... You're in the land of the dead, literally. Everybody, their soul is in the Vatican. It doesn't matter who you shake right now and ask him, uh, do, you see nasty? Yeah, I'm, we're on a ball. I mean, it's just pitiful. You think you're a monkey evolution? Yeah. I mean, they're so far from reality. It's not even funny. They don't know why they bow their head in prayer. They don't know nothing about the astral light. They know nothing about one side of a light holds a black hole with the green astral jet shooting out, that you're on the E-Creation disc or CD, that there's a land of perpetual twilight. Once we pass through the everyone enter her eye zone, you were birthed into this world through your mother. You're going to be birthed out of this world through your mother. And since I'm the only one pointing this out day after day after day after day, how to get to the Holy Grail, it's at the end of every compass. It's clear who holds the spear of destiny. And uh, I'm just going to keep pointing out the obvious. As you see here, the Jesus snakehead at the Vatican on the devil's throne. And what I see is I say uh, it's one side of a light hole is a black hole with the green astral jet shooting out, hitting the parabolic mirror and showering down on you. The great god Typhon and Sut joined in an androgynous existence. One side of a light hole is a black hole. The candy cane shows you that Jesus the sun needs to place its light into the hole or there's no astral jet shooting out. It's very simple. You're on the CD or recreation disc. You're not on a ball floating through space as an accident. You're in the fucking matrix. And the devil has your soul. I'm here to bring forth heaven and earth. And I know people say from time to time you have such a bad attitude. Listen, I'm done playing games, people. This fucking world is mine. You're all a bunch of filthy fucking necrophiliacs until your blood is published beside my own. You're lost at sea. You're legally dead and this world is mine. Lucifer's trust is mine. And I'm going to spend all that money on bringing everybody to the Holy Grail. We're going to get there in a couple of years. I can see the future because I wrote it myself with my blood. If I sound like a broken record, that's because you're too fucking silly slave fucking retarded to do anything about it. And you're going to remain in slavery if I don't make videos. Everybody's going to die because everybody's so fucking pussy they can't point out the Holy Grail. So I'll do this on my own. That means your life is in my hands. You don't have to like it. I'll... Do this with whatever fucking attitude I want because you're all a bunch of little filthy fucking pussies. So, if I don't make videos, you're going to fucking die for sure because everybody else out there is lost at sea. They're legally dead. They can't see anything. They're blind as a fucking bat. And the devil has your fucking soul. I am Satan, the Antichrist himself, and this world is mine. And you don't have to fucking like it. You're lost at sea. You're officially dead. So it's clear. Jesus the Son goes round and round and round over the flat earth plane, moving inward and outward, bringing the seasons. Out from the hole at the center comes the ash trailing jet. This is the memory of the earth. You are on the E-Creation 
disc or CD. You're in the Colosseum, and I'm explaining to you that the gods and goddesses of the earth are looking down on you, and they're saying, how the fuck are you missing this? And it's scary that I feel like I'm all alone here, you know, making videos day after day after day, pointing at the Holy Grail at the center of the dish. Uh, it's like I'm all alone. I just, I just don't see anybody beating the fucking hell out of the Ethernet, pointing at the Holy Grail but me. It's that, it's clear who holds the Spear of Destiny. If I don't make videos, everybody's going to die. You're never going to make it to the Holy Grail and you're going to remain in slavery. The biggest secret of all was this. And they gave you your religion and all that shit. And uh, it was all a lie. So it doesn't matter what name you attach to me. I'm the only one pointing at the Holy Grail at the center of the dish where every compass points to. The sun above your head is 32 nautical miles in diameter. It's 3,100 miles away from you at high noon. It moves inward and outward across the flat earth plane, writing everything into the Akashic record. If you look at the sun, it's the collective consciousness of the whole, like you're in a black hole. The other black sun, the black sun, is 800 nautical miles in diameter. And when you cross the event horizon, you're in the land of perpetual twilight, uh, where the astral jet shoots out from that hole into the other dome and bounces down on everybody in a land of perpetual twilight, where trees go on forever, and it's just like you... Imagine, now there's a crater at the center of the dish in a hole. And they show you in all kinds of shows, like a creature creeping out across the earth. You see the veins from looking at high, uh, you know, looking from high up in the air. You look down, you see like all these veins where the rivers are. This was like a giant organism that creeped out. And it's still alive. And it's talking to me. It's called the great earth spirit, the goddess of the earth. You call it Lucifer, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um... It's a feminine spirit. You do hula hooping, body dancing, belly dancing, whatever. Uh, Tippy toe and ballerina dresses and all that shit. Everybody's so filthy, retarded, necrophiliac, sick. They're lost at sea, officially dead. And uh, you don't have to like it, but this world is mine because you're legally dead. So you're summoned to court because you're legally dead. You think you're alive, but I assure you, in the eyes of your masters, you are spiritually dead and claimed as such. They took your soul print off your foot at birth. You are owned by the motherfucking devil. You don't have to like it. So, this is how shit works, people. It's all about your intent. Intent manifested. That's exactly how it's written. And intention under the universal golden rule. Where... You need to write out on a piece of paper. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. And you do it on video and you put, you put a drop of your blood over your words and you publish that video to YouTube titled Blood Over Intent. You tag it Blood Over Intent and description Blood Over Intent. And it automatically ends up side by side. Blood is thicker than water with your brethren. We're taking back reality. We're going to the Holy Grail to get our eternal life and nobody can stop us. I have the Holy Spear and it doesn't matter what name you call me. If I don't make videos, you're fucking dead because you're all a bunch of little pussies. You can't see anything. So I'm going to be the only one screaming this out for a couple of years because everybody's blind as a bat. And if I was you, I would type into your YouTube search, blood over intent. Scroll down, place your blood beside the rest of your brethren, and let's take back reality. So what you see here, this was published for the entire world to see on purpose, that the devil lives at the Vatican. And as I've shown you, the devil has your soul print in the, the Vatican vaults. You don't have to like it. The devil owns your soul already. You're legally dead. You're a filthy fucking necrophiliac until your blood is published beside my own on YouTube. So if I was you, I'd type into a YouTube search blood 
over intent and hit enter and place your blood right beside your brethren or you're legally dead in this world